So none of you guys are going to be old enough for the 1998 <laughs> film, let alone the original series. So when you saw this script, what was the most exciting element for you to be involved? Well, I, when I first saw my audition scene, that was just the fact that Penny is reading Moby Dick on ice in the middle of space, that instantly drew me. But um, I think the fact that it's it's very much about a family. It is set in space, but the story follows this family and it's about people and how you know relations can be complicated and messy, but in the end, when you work together, you survive and you persevere. Yeah, um, what drew me to the script, at least to Will Robinson, was how he looked past the scary outside of the robot. And um, I like to think it's similar to me and my family. With uh, We have two rescued pit bulls, and they seem scary on the outside. But um, I know our pit bulls are nice, kind, and fierce protectors. So um, that's what drew me, how Will Robinson was able to form a connection with something that looked different and scary. And... Um, it really taught him so much, and it made him who he grows up to be. Yeah, it, we're lucky to be part of a show that is hopefully going to make a lot of people feel good, and um, it's very adventurous and uh, full of fun. And, and um, I think you're on the edge of the seat the most the most of the time that you're watching the show. I felt oh, that for way. Sure. So uh, there's a lot of um, appealing elements about it, and it's very uplifting. Yes. It's, it's a happy show. <laughs> yeah, some of the time, yeah. Um, so, I mean, did you guys, because the original was so totally different to what it is now, did you guys try and stay away from watching that original? No, no, I definitely yeah. watched it mm -hmm. to become familiar with the storyline, and I did also want to see um, the original Robinson family, yeah. and I think that they did a very, I, they did a beautiful job, and it's, it's, it was perfect for that time and for that show, but we've kind of, twisted it and modernized it in both the script and the, the social setting. Um, but I did I did want to find that base. Yeah, um, I did watch the uh, original series because um, our show, our executive producer said it's a, not a fourth season, but it's a reimagining. So you have to, uh, so we kept the same, I hope the same sacred flame of uh, the Robinson family being lost in space and how they're such a close-knit family. But we did twist it. They're fr a fractured family. They don't, um, some of them don't see eye to eye. Some of them um, don't have a good relationship with each other. Um, but I did watch the original season to get that mindset. Okay. Yeah, they're very different shows. I think the family aspect is the same and there's a lot of fun that's very similar, but I mean, the story of Swiss Family Robinson is um, it is way before the original Lost in Space, and I think all the values are the same in the original story and Lost in Space, and then the film and us. So um, we're a very different show, but I think the values are, are pretty similar. And as a young family as well, you all you're all very strong. Well, apart from Will, obviously, it's a bit mm. vulnerable. <laughs> um, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But you've all got your own unique characters. Did this uh, getting your heads around those characters? What, did they pose any kind of challenges for you at all? I think. Well, I know that for me, I connect with Penny on a level that's that's beyond. I think we're very very similar. Um, and she has a lot of qualities that I aspire to be just like her. She's very very real, and she's. Um, she never really has any filters or puts up any kind of mask. So I think the hard, the most challenging part was putting yourself in a situation, and there's a Meisner quote that says, acting is uh, behaving truthfully in uh, under, under, under imaginary circumstances. And I think that's the part that was challenging, but be feeling these characters and connecting with these characters, that was simple because, I don't know, I think they're really likable. Yeah, yeah. on the note of uh, feeling like your uh, characters, I feel um, that Will Robinson is kind of like a mascot for not just 11 and 12 year olds who don't feel secure, but for all adults and people who don't feel like they fit in. And I think that Will Robinson, um, sh I hope he's an inspiration to all those people who don't feel like they fit in, who feel out of place and out of touch with other, with society. And um, I hope Will Robinson forces them to like make connections or for other people to make connections, like that relationship between Will and the robot. Mm -hmm. Um, I, a lot of acting strong is, comes with the material that you have, so if your character is, you know, a very strong-willed character in the writing, it, it's, that's how you obviously have to play it, and, um, I think all of us are, are quite headstrong as people, um, 
so I think it's a mixture of both, but yeah, it's, I don't know, I guess it's our jobs, it's fun to do, and yeah. Okay, well thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So nice thank to meet you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!